Makes me laugh. Here is Dominique. It's answer the question where normally I ask you a series of hard hitting, provocative questions. But our producer Dave McKinnon says that today you want to ask me a question. So go yeah. ahead. I will cede the first question to you. I mean, given the role that you've been on on your Jets created content, I wonder if you know what happens in 45 days. Is that when they play Kansas City? <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. You guys got to go to Kansas City and see Patrick Mahomes. I can't wait to the Monday that, after that game. You know what that game is? I'm telling you right now. So my son played AAU basketball for years. And there were some games that you're watching the layup line and you say, why are they playing this? Like, why is this game even being played? Their team is dunking in the layup line. We're 11. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have to call off the press when it gets to be 20 to nothing because that's the rule in AAU. So I think they should have that in this game. I think well, when I mean, Mahomes at least, throws his... At least, at least yeah. your son, your son in those games, he could probably look and say, there's some kids in college. Now he's like, guess what? I played against that kid in AAU. So th there's that bit of it. You could do the I, same I thing. The Jets may be at that point right now. Though. At least someday they'll get to say, I played against Patrick Mahomes once. All right. I have questions for you meantime. Let's talk about another future Hall of Famer. <laughs> Neek, will Drew Brees start all 16 games for the Saints this year? I don't know. I, I would lean towards no because we saw late season Drew Brees, kind of weak arm Drew Brees, and we know he has a history with that shoulder injury. We saw that guy. We saw that guy in week one. So I know they won, so we're all focused on how bad um, Tom Brady was. But I was not impressed with Drew Brees, and I think that Jameis Winston – better be getting some reps in practice because they were already putting those 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 Taysom Hill trick plays in that they put them in in week one those are things that we normally don't see until late in the season so I'm concerned about Drew Brees arm strength all right, I like that one finally here's one more if you're getting ready to play a game and you were a corner who are you more worried about defending Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray I mean Lamar's obviously better but as a corner I'm worried about Kyler Murray because his arm is outstanding and it's terrifying and he attacks the outside of the field. I'm looking at Lamar Jackson and then I'm looking at the linemen and the linebackers and the safety and I'm saying, that's your problem. He throws the <laughs> tight ends, he runs zone reads, he's running around, that is your problem. I'm going to be out here with Hollywood, staying deep, make sure he don't beat me deep, but Lamar is not going to be attacking the outside of the field the same way that Kyler Murray is. Lamar is obviously an MVP and terrifying. But that ain't my problem. That's you on the inside. Y'all got to deal with them tight ends. That's fair. And I think it's fair to say that right now. But that kid, Kyler Murray, is on the come. And they got him the best present they could possibly get him in the form of DeAndre Hopkins. Speaking of presents, happy birthday, Patrick Mahomes. He's 25 years old today. So we decided to look back at where some of the all-time great quarterbacks were on the day they turned 25. Let's start with Tom Brady. Tom Brady, when he turned 25, was also coming off his first Super Bowl title. He was the Super Bowl MVP. Uh, those, of course, came in his first season as a starter. So that's where he was when he turned 25. How about Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning, when he turned 25, was coming off back-to-back -back seasons in the Pro Bowl. However, unlike the Chiefs quarterback, Peyton had yet to win a playoff game. He didn't win his first until after he was 27. Dan Marino, meanwhile, had already won an MVP by his 25th birthday. He had more Pro Bowls and more first-team All-Pros than Mahomes. But, of course, he hadn't won a Super Bowl, and as you most likely know, he never wound up winning one. Joe Montana, meanwhile, wasn't even close. When he turned 25, he was 2-6 and six as a starting quarterback. It was in his age 25 season that he experienced his huge breakthrough. As for Mahomes, what can you say? He's 25, and he's already done more than most players will ever dream of. He's been regular season MVP, Super Bowl MVP. He's won just under 80% of his games, including the playoffs. And perhaps most importantly, he has a 10-year contract extension worth basic, basically half a billion dollars. So let us ask the question this way. Is Patrick Mahomes the best we've ever seen at this stage of his career? I know that we're talking about overreactions today, and I don't want to start comparing Mahomes to Brady yet. It's just not reasonable to do it. But, Lewis... Considering where he is in his career, is he at the best place we've ever seen any quarterback on the day they turn 25? Yeah, it'd be hard to argue against it, Greeny. I mean, and that's this is obviously, you know, an argument that you can make objective uh, arguments in favor of other quarterbacks. And when you're talking about subjective arguments, it's just a matter of opinion. But if you really poll the people who are around him and closely working with him, they will tell you he is as unique 
as it gets from a physical skills perspective and just from an arm talent perspective, okay? And I know we use that term a lot. There is nothing he can't do with his arm. There's nothing, and I mean nothing. He can throw with horsepower, he can throw with touch, he can throw it short, he can throw it deep, he can do whatever he wants. Here's the thing that, th this is why people believe that Pat's upside is basically limitless. He's such a good person, and he's someone who is so dialed in to making sure that everyone else gets theirs too, that everyone not only, you know, not only does he want to win, Everyone around him wants to win for themselves and even more because of how he treats them. And when you have that kind of respect and we understand that this is the ultimate team sport, you're going to win a heck of a lot more than you're going to lose because people are going to make sure they do everything they can to see that you continue to succeed simply because of what you do for them and how you treat them. That's the secret ingredient with this young man. That's what he gets naturally. And that's why Kansas City gave him half a billion dollars. <laughs> Chefty, uh, you, like I, love the history of the sport. What, what should we be saying about Patrick Mahomes and, and where he is on his 25th birthday? Well, let me say this. On his 25th birthday, has anybody other than Patrick Mahomes had a good year in 2020? He's the only guy that's enjoyed this year, right? Everything <laughs> has happened for him. He's won a Super Bowl. He signed the richest contract in sports history. He got engaged. He's had a great 2020, unlike the rest of us. Okay, we'll start there. Lou said he's got limitless potential. And I think at the age of 25, you look forward and project his future. And I think his future at this point is brighter than any quarterback that has ever played the game. Now, I don't know that he's produced more than Tom Brady at this point. I don't know that he's produced more than Dan Marino at this point. But his future is brighter at this age than any quarterback who's ever played the game. That is exactly why we wanted, I'm so glad you said that. That's exactly why we wanted to phrase the question this way when we were talking about yesterday how we wanted to do it. On the day he turns 25, we compared him to all these other guys at that stage. D. Wood, what is your perspective? Patrick Mahomes on his 25th birthday. Greatest quarterback I've seen this early in his career. And, and you know, the one th we talk about all the skill set that Patrick Mahomes has, the, the no-look passes, being able to threaten every blade of grass on the football field. But what makes, what makes his situation so special is when you can combine all the talents that he brings to the table with one of the all-time best coaches and a guy who knows how to develop coaches, we've seen, we've seen Andy Reid do it in Philadelphia, and now we've seen him do it with Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City. This guy has so much more left in the tank, it's yeah. just scary to think what his future is going to be. You're exactly right. It, it is the perfect storm. It is everything coming together. He comes into the perfect situation for a young quarterback to be developed, and he brings everything you could ever ask for to the situation. And what you may have when it's all said and done is as much success as anyone ever has. Guys, awesome. Let's run the bases. Take you quickly through as baseball is heading down their stretch, and let me show you what happened in the sport yesterday. It begins... With the Dodgers, they become the first team to clinch a postseason berth after their...